your girl Sonya Nay, and I am back with another video. Listen, I know y'all like this girl is going, going, going because I got on the same shirt because it's the same day, just a different video, okay? Well, anyway, I want to share with you guys my mindset for saving, okay? Sometimes you got to make up your mind when you want something, you have to get it, okay? So this is how I decided I was going to save and what my strategy is. Before I get into it, I want you guys to give this video a thumbs up, okay? And if you're watching and you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because your girl is on the way to 10K and I need you guys to help me get there, okay? So go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button, put that notification bell on all, that way you won't miss any of my videos, okay? Cause you don't wanna miss them, cause we going up, okay? <laughs> anyway, so let's get into it. All right, so first, th first thing I did was made up my mind, okay? I knew that I wanted some things, I knew um, that I wanted to be in a different place next year than I am this year. God is definitely blessing me this year, okay, to, to really come into my own and figure out what I want to do. Okay, so now that I know what I want to do and I know what I want and I know what I want for my family, I decided to make up my mind to do my part in it, okay? And so my part will be, for me, saving a down payment for a house i really 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 want to save that money and of course you know we are definitely getting credit together and all of that stuff like that but i want to save the down payment because i want to save it okay <laughs> i want this to be my part okay so i decided to make up my mind and mentally say i don't want to borrow i don't want to have to work too hard for the down payment i just want to save it okay i don't want that money to come from my husband i don't want that money to come from my children i don't want that money to come from my work i want to save the down payment for my family's first official home okay and we're gonna buy a house next year you better know it all right well anyway so that's 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 my plan and that's what I want to do. I had to make up my mind. I had to think about it. Sonya, how are you going to do it? How are you going to be disciplined enough to do it? Well, when you want something, you have to make up your mind that you want it bad enough to do what you got to do to get it. So my mind is made up. It's a mental thing. You have to be ready for this or you'll keep dipping in that money or you'll keep taking from it and you don't want to do that. So, make up your mind is number one. Number two, look at your money. Look at your money and see what you can do. And that's the reason why I said on these challenges, you save as much or as little as you can. Don't try to save what I'm saving because you may be able to save more. Don't try to save what I'm saving because you may not be able to save as much. But the, the goal is to save something, okay? So put something aside. If you're going to do the 100 envelopes, anytime you may get, um, you know, you I, I, I sing. Okay, so I do studio sessions. I may do a gig here and there. And that money, yes, helps pay the bills. But my husband pays the bills mostly. So I can take a little bit from that, contribute to the bills, and then take a little bit and save. So I, that's my strategy. That's what I'm going to be doing. Um, also, when I get paid from YouTube, when I get my checks every month, I will take a certain amount. Of course, look at your money. For those of us who are believers, we pay tithes. So you want to pay your tithes. That's 10%. And then you want to do your normal savings because most of us you know transfer money to our savings account okay and then you want to go to the bank you want to look at your money and say okay how much money would i spend if i was buying fast food this week how much money would i spend on starbucks how much money would i spend if i was just having fun if i was drinking if i was you know what i'm saying so you want to make sure you look at your finances and say okay i got this much to save 
And so what I will do is if I have an extra $60, okay, of course, if it's fives week, I'm going to take half of that in fives, put it in the five tens and, you know, twenties challenge and it, and then put the rest of it with in my 100 envelopes challenge. When I go and I do studio sessions, when I get paid from those sessions, I really don't have to pay bills or anything like that. My husband does that, but I like to contribute. So I'll take a portion of that and, you know, put it in the bank account so that, you know, I can contribute to the bills. And then I'll take the rest of it and I'll divvy it up in my savings. That's my strategy. I am going to save when I get money. If somebody blessed me with some money, okay, it wasn't money that I was expecting. Guess what? So it's money that I can save. You understand what I'm saying? So think about what you have, what you're doing, and how you can save it. Because a lot of things that we buy, we don't need. And there will, if you do it like this, and I, this is my goal, for me to be able to buy what I want, for me to be able to do what I want to do with my money. But until then, I have to be a good steward over what I have. And I have to make sure that I am building my life because I'll be living like this forever. You know what I'm saying? Paycheck to paycheck, you know, gig to gig or whatever. I'll be living like that forever if I don't change my mind. So we got to change our minds so that we can save money towards what we want to save towards. Okay. So right now for me, it's a house. But once I get my house, guess what? I'm still going to be saving. So we are going to just continue to do this and continue and continue and continue. Why? Because we're women and we can. Because we're disciplined. Because we're amazing. Because we have the mind of women okay we are going to rock these challenges okay i just wanted to share with you guys how i came up with the idea as far as you know of course i got the challenges from other people there are several people doing these challenges okay there are several people actually the 100 envelope challenge i actually saw on a youtuber's cha uh, channel um i think the youtuber's name was Oh, I don't want to mess up her name, but I think it was Candy Dreams or something like that. I'll put her link in the description box so you guys can see because she counted out over eight thousand dollars in that one hundred envelopes challenge. That motivated the hell out of me. Okay, <laughs> so the challenges I saw other people do it, but how I had the idea and to make up my mind was to say, I know what I want, and I need to be a part of helping to get it. Okay, so the down payment is on me. Okay, my husband, he gonna work on everything else. He got these bills. He got all that because he takes care of his family. But at the end of the day, the down payment for the house, that's on me. And I'm gonna get it. Okay, I love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for watching. All right, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video. And if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit the button, okay? And don't forget to put that notification bell on all so you don't miss none of these videos because we gonna win up, okay? <laughs> Until next time, I love you guys so much. Oh, don't forget about the Sonya Lene TV Meet and Greet Experience. August 6th through the 8th, right here in Nashville, Tennessee. It's going to be amazing. If you want to register, go ahead and hit the uh, link in my description box under the channel announcements that says register here. You go ahead and register, pay your registration. Last day for registration payments is July 17th. Okay? After that, you will not be able to register anymore. We're moving on to something else. Okay? I love y'all. And until next time, guys, bye. Let's save some money.